the final day of the final battle of the bands and here we stand with the first stack the first band up in the battle the woodsman right so what is uh what does the future hold for the woodsman what is the plan for the band uh we plan on playing more music and touring the galaxy hopefully recording yeah recording stuff so that people can hear it <laughs> About your sick kids in your band? Uh, four years ago? I guess it was four years ago. It was kind of like uh, Joseph Smith when, when he had God speak to him. I had God speak to me too. And so I went down to the homeless shelter and I found these guys. Your thoughts, your performance today? Oh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun going through the whole battle uh, from start to finish, and uh, we can't wait to hear the results. It's a really varied bill. There's a lot of different uh, genres represented tonight, which was which is awesome. <laughs> on the gig? I loved it. It was a little hot, but you know how it is. Chicks dig the sweat. Now give us a brief history of Dangler. Start with your mom. That's what I said. Brief. <laughs> I think he's insinuating that you're his son. <laughs> uh, three months. There's been some wicked music. Uh, the the last two weeks, uh, eight great bands. Just want to thank uh, Bastard Son, Wormwood, Us Heroic, Blackwood Kings, MD Ren, The Sick Kids, Dangler, The Woodsman, and Synapse. It was a, it was a great final eight. So third place will win uh, one $500 paid gig here at Spurs. Uh, Synapse. Synapse is in. Uh, right now for second place, $500 cash and one $500 paid gig. Second place. 
Taylor. Taylor in second place. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Better than a kick in the fucking face. So and our winner, a thousand dollar winner, <laughs> the doctor, MD Ren and the sick kid. Congratulations! Thank you very much! We're the role models from the BIC Let's come on down and drink with me <laughs> Death by stereo. Reverend Death hanging out at the side of Rehab Nightclub, Victoria, BC. Hanging out with guys from Death by Stereo. Welcome to town, guys. Thank you. Hey. Yeah. For the people who don't know, maybe just do a quick introduce yourselves. Yeah, I'm Mike. I play drums. Dan Palmer. I play guitar. I'm uh, from. I sing. JP. I play guitar. Show up in uh on our Canadian leg of our tour. Great time. <laughs> <laughs> What's going? On? <laughs> so it's it's been a pretty dry run for um, girls on the road, I'm guessing. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, were you trying to say something? No, I'm, I already did. I'm oh. cool, dude. Yeah, yeah he's really good at guitar, man. You guys, Fucking awesome. You guys don't bother me at all. Oh yeah, we're just a punk band that plays uh, kind of heavy music as well. Yeah, so I feel I, like a punk band. Sure. Yeah, I think we relate more to bands like DRI like and shit like that. You know, we're like, yeah, right. We're like, you know what, dude? We fucking love nice. metal, but we can, we're from come from punk, so we want to play all the music we fucking love. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've always been a fan. Like, you know when everybody got, got really mad at, like, bands when they went metal? I got really happy. Like, I thought it was rad when the Crow got more metal. I thought it was rad when DRI got fucking super metal. I think it's great. No well, offense to exploited. a lot of punk, but a lot of punk is way too sloppy. If you're metal, metal, metalhead, it's hard to go into punk because some of it seems it's pretty too, sloppy. Yeah. Right. Whereas, like, you listen to good crossover bands like DRI, to me, like, I, I didn't even hear the punk until I really listened to it, right? It was definitely a metal band. Right, so we just like playing music that we like, and I think that explains. We pull influence from hardcore, punk, metal, whatever. We just, I think we just do it.
Titan Parker here for Absolute Underground's West Coast Report. We are on Salt Spring Island covering the 2012 Island Cup 4x4 event. We're about to hit the pits. Check out what this event's all about. Come on, let's have a look. Give me 10 months, but I'm taking two. Kiss my pay, got shit to do. Got no time for We have some amazing machines here. These people really, really, really love their 4x4s. All they want to do is wreck their machines. They spend all year building these machines, and then they come out here and they're going to destroy them for the next three days. Keep me out tonight. Get a little action, see you, sugar, do me. Yeah, Langford. Got me a cigarette, cause my heart is racing. Bought me a couple pills when my mind starts fading. Got to twist the to the end of the day. Gotta take it all, take it all the way. Got no time for tomorrow's girls. Give me the weekend. I want the weekend. I need the weekend. Give me the weekend. Come down on the weekend. Brian Park here, Absolute Underground, West Coast Support. We're up here at the IC12. Anything can happen. These guys are going nuts here. This 4x4 is stuck on top of that other 4x4 and he's teetering on the edge of this cliff. He's about to come rolling down here. I'm getting out of here. Watch this guys, this is going to be great. Get me a bottle bottle cause my brain is aching. Oh my god. Get me to my room is what I was thinking. Give me 10 months but I'm taking two. Spent my pay, got shit to do. Got you don't see that every day. Give me the weekend. That was intense! Man! I, really? Yeah, that's like the... the I saw wow. his V-lock turn, like... His tire was here, and then everybody started winching him, and his tire was on there, like, he's gonna break my windshield! And then I know what the plan was, and... didn't break it Oh, he was sitting on it for a while, all of a sudden it's like, BOOM!
Sponsored by Anarchy, Rage, and Spit, and only at thezone.fm. Oh, hello, this is Paula McKenzie, The Real McKenzie's here in Victoria. I'm, uh, I'm doing an interview here, it's a really fun time, and uh, I've got a nice beer, nice friends. Alrighty, so I'm sitting here with Paul McKenzie from The Real McKenzie. Hello, good to see you. Glad okay, to see you. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello out there in Cameroon. I see you. 20 years now. 20 years, Real McKenzie's been a man. 20 years? Nah. Yeah? No, no, no. Couldn't have been 20 years. Wait a minute. What year is it now? 2012. You're right. But I think, um, I think it's because I spent half the time being totally inebriated, so it's actually only about 10 years. We're looking back to see the 18th century Talking about the shit that went down under the fall of Colonna That's when Richard... Now, well, personally, I'm taking it a little more seriously because um, I don't have another job anymore. So I'm just doing this, and of course, if I'm going to do something, it's got to be refined. And so it's, it's all happening, cohesively and collectively. And as soon as I find out what those two words mean, I'll use them in the proper context. 
just talked about the new album. Okay. I, I say it's the finest thing you guys have ever done. I, this one's awesome. Well, I thank you very much. Uh, we have Steve Lowy from Crab Apple Down Studio in Nanton, Alberta. And I think that perhaps one of the things that, that really make this album is that we have no distractions. Uh, before we recorded in Seattle, Vancouver, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Berlin. Many distractions. But out in Nanton, Alberta, it's like, oh, what are we going to do tonight? Or what are we going to be in the studio tonight? Or if it's a full moon, we go out and watch the cows getting taunted by the coyotes. This is actually quite entertaining. And uh, let me tell you that a lot of people say, this might be one of your questions. Why did you call the album West Winds? Well, let me tell you, my friends. It's a cryptic reference to the flatulent members of the band. And that's true. They're really fluffy. I've always loved the uh, the energy and the effervescence of performing live. I'm always I'm, I'm addicted to it, to that adrenaline. On the rider, we have uh, now you people in Canada. I'm telling you, you got a good thing going here with those Brunswick sardines, the ones in spring water. Stone wheat thins is another great Canadian product, and uh, Armstrong white cheddar cheese and white onions and uh, some Keens mustard. I'm good. I'm good with that. The one day that I was washing my kilt a couple of tours ago, I was wearing some leather trousers on Queen Street in Toronto. And I hear this voice behind me. Arr, boy, why are you dressing like a woman? Arr, if they ever caught you dressing like that on PEI, they put you on a hook. Okay. So, Sorry guys, I gotta in uh, interrupt this interview. Hi, I'm Bone, I'm the guitar player. Hello, this is Bone. Let's see, we've received dinner vouchers for uh, the Sticky Wicked upstairs. What would you like for dinner tonight, Paul? Sardine, you want me to... Sardines and crackers and cheese. You... They're not really made for the road. Um, and this is one of these individuals, I love him dearly, but he wasn't made. I watched him slowly unravel until we got to Milano, Italy, where he literally opened the door of the moving vehicle doing 20, 30 kilometers an hour and jumped out of the van. I haven't seen or heard of him since. Yes, we opened for Metallica in, uh, in England, and uh, the, <laughs> the people there wanted to kill us, because Dirty Kurt Robertson took the stage and said, good morning, you poofy English cunts. And at that point, there were guys trying to get through the security, saying, like, you're dead, you're dead. And I'm like, oh yeah, come on. And I'm flipping my kill to them and showing them everything, the fish and chips in the kitchen sink and all that. My favorite scotch. Oh, I love it's like asking me my favorite color or my favorite song. Very difficult question. Go away! For Christ's sake, we're trying to work. The Livent, the Fittick, uh, any of the Islay uh, scotches are really nice. You know, Talisker. As a matter of fact, I was in the bar with a 12-year-old the other day and I got arrested. They told me I had to switch to an 18-year-old. And. Uh, one of my most infamous things that I used to do was showing my ass in public. And I had an epiphany. In my house, I have an old 78 player and I played Sir Harry Lauder, I Love a Lassie. And in another room, Public Enemy was going. And in another room, the Sex Pistols were going. And I had an, epi an, ep an, ep <coughs> an epiphany. And so here we are, the room against Most of them are already rebel songs. And most of them are already punk songs, and all you gotta do is add some electrics to them or something. But there's a lot of Scots and Irish music, a lot of Celtic music that is rebel music. And in my opinion, punk music is rebel music. This has been going on for hundreds of years, and we are that. And we like it. Yeah, here's for the Queen. All right, this is Chuck Worley. I'm here with Paul McKenzie of The Real McKenzie's. Okay. You're watching Absolute Underground TV. I, yeah, when I'm, in Over the and out. when I'm in the mental institution, he's going to sign me out. <laughs> We're signing out. Have a good time. Be good. Come and see us. Have a beer with me. I'm at the merch booth. Boo! We're playing up in Inverness, and we took a trip to the lock, and uh, we were just sitting there drinking whiskey and beer on the, on the Bonnie Wee banks of the lock, and... I saw, like, everyone saw it. It looked like, I thought it was a duck. Like a super duck or something because of the wake it was making. And then, then we looked and it was, there was something barely sticking out of the water, but it was moving and creating a big wake. So I, I believe that it must have been Nessie.
And uh, one of the ones that is true is that uh, the Loch Ness Monster is an ancient ancestor of mine, personally. So it's really nice to know that. You know, some people like real estate, other people like other things. I like beer. Beer and whiskey is good for me. And sardines. <laughs> Hello, this is Paula McKenzie from The Real McKenzie here in Victoria, BC, Canada. You are watching what? What was it called again? Absolute Underground TV? Again? Absolute Underground TV, which means it's absolutely underground. And if you were to try to find them, you'd have to bring a shovel. The world's going to hell in a handbasket. Yep. Open a beer and have a picnic. <laughs> Boom! To put a cap on it, you're going to have to wait for the book, laddie. <laughs>